it is time for our final fight of the night. That's a championship bout in the 160 pound and under weight class. Scott McAfee looked tremendous in his earlier bout against Clarence Brooks and prepares to take on Jesus Medina, who knocked out Jake Sinnevin in the second round. If these two earlier fights are any indication, this should be the best fight of the night, so don't go anywhere. Championship boxing is up next. These guys are going to come out boxing, I know it. You're looking at Jesus. These are both power boxers that don't like to back up. So they look at him just laying in the pocket. Just look at him laying in the pocket. Work your distance. Work your distance. Move around. Collect them points. Keep your chins down. Or if he feels more aerodynamic with less hair. Nice body shots. Get your hands up. Chin down. They're fighting this fight in a phone booth, man. Throw the combinations, throw the combinations. You gotta let them roll. Step around to the side and let it roll. Don't forget about the uppercuts. Don't forget about the uppercuts, gentlemen. You both are both wide open for them. Good job. 
Look at these guys laying it out. Oh, coming with it. Look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. Uppercuts, man. Uppercuts. Left, left jab, left hook, right cross. That's beautiful. Oh, that was sick with it. That got his attention right now. I don't like the body. This Jesus, he came out of nowhere, man. He is a good boxer. Okay, another United States Army and the good soldier right there, Jesus Medina. Uh, Army members ain't pretty good tonight. Got three guys in the finals. United States Army, here we go. Folks, that was the Alaska Championship Boxing brought to you by Jeans Chrysler and of Jeans Chrysler. See us again in August when we begin a new season of Alaska Championship Boxing right here on Fox 7. This has been brought to you by Lawson Productions, Jeans Chrysler, Fox 7, and was created by 360 Productions. I'm Bruce Check with Fox Sports saying good night, everybody. Smell of night pump in the morning. Current strikers run the gamut from standard infantry carriers to fire support rigs and surveillance vehicles. But all will be fast, quiet, and equipped with the latest in digital gear. Strikers will become the backbone of Alaska's infantry with over 160 to be stationed in the interior. And the excitement at their arrival is evident from senior officers to the troops themselves. The troops have done a lot of training all winter as far as uh, preparatory training, as far as drivers training, weapons training, getting ready to go down to Anchorage uh, and actually start conducting the training uh, on the striker itself. Uh, and so there, there's a high degree of excitement to actually have the vehicles start coming in. I just think it's a lot of fun. I, I have a lot of fun driving it. Okay,
Praise you, man. Hey. What? Yes. What? Who? What? Come. Come on. Watch your submission first round. Winner in the blue corner has 